Well, she's a strong woman. Um, and I do admire strong women. <laughs> and, and in the beginning, she, I think she's, she's quite likable. You know, she's a little pushy, but she's, she's kind of funny. And uh, you can see that she loves her kids and she wants to do well for them. And somewhere along the way, it just gets twisted. And as a mother of two daughters... Um, it's it, it's hard for me to see how she could take that turn. But, uh, you know, as an actress, it's like I have to, you have to go to that dark place, to that, and suddenly she's not a very likable person anymore. Um, and so, uh, you know, I want to encourage my daughters. I want my daughters to do well. I want to help them. But I certainly don't want to go to that place where she goes. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I guess I, she's more likable in the beginning, and by the end you're like, this woman needs some medication. <laughs> um, Everything's Coming Up Roses is the, is the song. Um, and at the end of Act One, June has left the, the daughter that she's pushed forward into the spotlight the whole time ab leaves, abandons her in the act, and she takes a turn and... Louise, the daughter that she's been pushing in the background, she decides suddenly she's going to make her the star. So that's where there's a real there's a real transition there. And um, I, I I love that song. I love the song at the end because of the emotion. When I was in musical theater, I was getting my bachelor of fine arts in musical theater. I was really frustrated by the fact that the acting department didn't take the musical theater people as seriously. And I wanted so bad to be a really good actress, too. I didn't want to just be a song and dance person. I wanted to be able to get to that raw emotion. And you don't always have that opportunity in a lot of musical theater. Um, so this is really special to be able to bring that side into it, bring that Enough. acting into it. Light the lights. We got nothing to hit but the heights. You'll be swell. You'll be great. I can tell just your way. Right after I finished um, Wichita in 07, I moved to New York, did a few auditions, and then I got a call to audition for The Swing and Gypsy of the revival with Patti LuPone. And it was a really interesting audition process. I just went in, learned a couple little things. They brought me back to do it in front of Arthur Lawrence, the writer and the director, and he told me right there on the spot that I got the job. It was pretty amazing. So then I did that for a little over a year. And then I'm back here at Wichita doing the show that I love at the place that I love in a role that couldn't be more amazing. I'm just thrilled about it. I'm more the tomboy Louise. I mean, not necessarily tomboy, but I'm very refined. I'm, uh, I get shy really easily and don't want to be noticed unless I'm on stage. So I like that I get to do both of those things in this part because I get to be a lot of myself in it. And then once she figures out that she enjoys seeing these people looking at her on stage, she just develops into this woman who enjoys being a stripper. I mean, I'm not a stripper, but... <laughs> When I was eight, my mom, uh, she enrolled me and my sister in it because she wanted 45 minutes to herself so she could go to the grocery store alone and we wouldn't pester her. So it kind of, from there, everything just kind of fell into place and now I love it and I never want to um, stop. I watch the movies a lot and it's hard because June encounters a lot of emotions just like right on, on stage. A lot of things happens to her. 
she finds out her mom is taking control of everything, and she just kind of wants to live her own life. And she goes through a lot just in a really short period of time, because then she leaves. If Mama was married, I'd jump in the air and give all my toe shoes to you. I'd get all those hair ribbons out of my hair, and once in for all, I'd get Mama out. Well, I've worked longer in the business, and of course, Herbie talks about working for 20 years as an agent before he meets up with Rose, so he's had a lot of years in, and I've had uh, 18 since the last time I did this role, so I've gotten a lot more experience with how people act in the business, uh, the headaches, the fun, the, you know, the heartaches, and so I think I approach it now with a lot more of Herbie's knowledge about what would drive you in or what would drive you out together uh, it's it's one that where we finally talk about all the things we have been together how we are a great team for a lot of the show louise is very very awkward around herbie because she can't picture him as as a father or as a friend she sees him as just somebody that's hanging around her mom either for romance or for financial benefit, whatever. And even between Herbie and Rose, there's always been this business thing. And it's one of the moments in the show where they suddenly start to talk about all the things they've been through together and that they've really become a family, that they've enjoyed each other's company and that they can trust each other and count on each other. <laughs>